Hello. I'm really liking actually knowing the settings on my camera because this doesn't look dark and I'm also in focus. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. Yes, the clothes I'm wearing in this video are the same clothes that I'm wearing in tomorrow's video on Quite the Collab, but I'm asking you to ignore that. In today's Trans Tuesday, I wanted to talk to cis people about being our allies. By our, I mean trans people's allies. So basically, this is a an instructional how-to on how to stand with us. First thing, make sure you have respect for us. And if you have respect for us, please make sure you have respect for all of us. Not just the binary trans people you come across, but also the people who are outside of the binary. It's very important that you show you have respect for all of us instead of just one group of us, because it's not really gonna do us much good if you don't respect all of us. Number two is listen to us. When we say something is transphobic, don't sit there as a cis person and say no it's not because you wouldn't know because you're not a trans person so you don't know what trans people are sensitive to. And we can try our best to explain what we're sensitive to but it doesn't always work. So please take into account when a trans person says something is transphobic or makes them uncomfortable. Please try to respect that and not say it again. Number three is don't talk over us. Having cis allies is great and amazing for trans people and it really helps us out a lot in our movements that we're trying to get so we're actually treated as humans. But it's very important that when we are trying to speak up for something that you don't speak over us. We're not asking for a cis person to speak for us, we're just asking for a cis person to give us the chance to talk. So when you speak over us, you're kind of diminishing us again. Four, fight with us and not for us. If you want to be a great ally, you need to make sure you're not speaking over us and you're not fighting for us, but you're actually fighting alongside us. If trans people see something as an issue, that should be an issue to you too. But if we don't see something as an issue, don't try to make it an issue. It's very important that we have people who sit and stand with us, but aren't fighting for us because we definitely want to do the work ourselves and we'd love to have some help with that, but we don't need it done for us. Number five, the last thing on this list is to educate yourself. Whether that means hopping back onto my channel and watching my entire playlist of trans education videos or asking a trans friend who is willing to educate you on stuff, please educate and inform yourself on the trans issues and try to get your best understanding of what being trans is like. You're not going to be able to understand completely because you're not trans yourself, but if you're trying to understand from our perspective, that's really all we can ask for. And understanding and empathy is honestly a great trait to have in an ally. If you want to help us be treated as humans by the majority of society, just follow these like five things and you should be good. I also wanted to interject here that every trans person is different, so every trans person might be triggered by a certain word, they might be offended by a certain thing. Not all trans people are the same, just as not all cis people are the same, and different things affect people differently. So understand that when you're trying to understand one person's situation, that it's not always the same for other people. That is all I have for this quick short little trans education video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat informative, especially if you're cis. If you found this helpful, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below saying spider plant so I know you made it this far into the video. If you made it this far into the video, comment spider plant and that'll be our little like secret for the people who didn't make it this far. They won't know what we're talking about. If you want, you can be sure to follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. All of the links to everything I have will be below. My Snapchat's really funny. I'm really great on Snapchat. So is my Twitter. If you want, you can also check out the collab channel I'm on called Quite the Collab. Again, linked below, but I post tomorrow and I have a really special fun video coming for y'all. So you should go subscribe over there. Also, oh my God, I wanted to thank everyone for 500 subscribers. We hit 500 subscribers this week. That is absolutely insane. And I just want to say thank you so much. I literally love you all. That means the freaking world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, that's all I had to say. So I really hope that this video you enjoyed and it was helpful and good and stuff. I love you guys and I will see you on Thursday. Okay, bye.